영화 속에서의 그 캐릭터는 항상 어떤 그 즐거운 마음으로 좀 어. 그 기쁜 기쁘게 사는 그런 모습을 보여주고 있고 이 패치워크 그 패밀리에서 살면서도 항상 어떤 기분 좋은 그런 인상을 주는데 그것을 어디서 얻을 수 있었을까요? 뭐 연기 액션 디렉팅은 뭐 감독님께서 다 주셨고 어 그냥 뭐 상처를 가지고 있는 그세 명이 가족으로 만나서 가족 이 아니 그냥 남으로 만나서 가족이 된것 같아요. 그러면서 이 또한 제가 맡은 역할도 어떤 아픔을 가지고 좀 극복해서 어 다른 어 새로운 인생을 살아가는 그런 아이를 저는 뭐 개인적으로 생각했기 때문에 그렇게 좀 긍정적이고 밝은 에너지를 계속 갖고 연기를 했던 것 같습니다. Well, um... The um, director um, asked me how to act and how to do the actions, so it was because the director asked me to do so. Um, anyway, there were three people, uh, all of them had uh, their own um, um, injuries um, and they are a family. Uh, first they were strangers and now they became a family. And I think my role was uh, to show somebody who had uh, his... Um, injuries but to overcome it and um, that's and I personally wanted this character to be um, someone who can share a positive energy yeah maybe you'd like to add something yes uh, Yongiza Mr. Yunge Sang is actually um, was actually a member of a, a boy group in Korea, so um, he is uh, one of the cases uh, where he developed into a real good actor. Um, he was one of the origin of the Korean K-pop, and I casted him because first of all he's good looking, and second because I thought that. He has so many female fans that it would add to the movie. Questions from your side, raise your hands. He has a question on the left hand side. Raise your hand so that Philly can see. There was no question? Here's a question in the center. Uh, called Kesas, which Tina sang. Um, it is a European song, but I know it from a Chinese film, a very fi famous Chinese film where I don't know the name anymore. Why did you choose that? Is it famous in, in Korea or what has it? with the film. Uh, 영화 속에서 티나가 그 부르는 노래가 캐세라는 그 외국 노래인데요. 예전에 중국 영화에서 제목은 기억 안 나지만 유명한 중국 영화에서도 봤는데 한국에서 이 노래가 유명한지 아니면 이 노래를 왜 선택하셨는지. 음, 이건 사실은 큐반 송이고요. 어, 어, 이 노래를 어, 부른 사람은 한국의 아주 또 유명한 어, 가수인데 그 가수는 한국에서 그 목소리를 들으면 떠올려지는 어떤 이미지가 있기 때문에 어, 그녀가 부른 버전의 키사스를 어, 어, 보여주고 싶었습니다. Uh, actually, it's a Cuban song, and it was uh, the singer, the, the real singer was a, is a really um, famous Korean um, singer, and 
uh, I thought that the image of um, her voice matches very well the image of uh, the scene, so that's why I chose it. It's because um, sentimental and it's because um, if Koreans hear the voice of this singer, they get a, a emotional picture in their mind. That's because I, that is why I chose it. More questions? Is that a question there in the, yeah. Thank you for this wonderful film. Uh, there was twice the scene I didn't understand where uh, the old lady gave quite a huge amount of money to another lady. Was this just some debt or, or what was the meaning of the scene? Uh, 영화 속에서 제가 이해하지 못했던 신이 두 장면이 있었는데 그 바카스 할머니가 다른 어떤 여성분한테 돈을 준 장면이 두번 있었는데 그것을 잘 이해 못했습니다. 맞아요. 빚, 빚 때문에 그걸 계속 갚아 나가야 되는 그런 상황을 표현하고 싶었고 아까 그 중국 영화는 In the Mood for Love. Yeah. Um, yes, you were right. Um, I want to show that um, she had to uh, pay her debt off. And um, I remember the uh, uh, Chinese movie. It was In the Mood of Love. Unfortunately, we have to go. The next one is coming up. Thank you so much to bring the Bacchus lady to Berlin. There are more shows of the film. Please tell your friends. Yoon Tae-san, Yoon Yoo-chong, and E.J. Young, the Bacchus lady. And please don't forget our Panorama Audience Award. Thank you. 